I'm glad that uh, I have the opportunity to come in and give you guys a quick update. Um, we're finally at the, the point here, as many of you know, for, for many years now. Just to introduce yourself. Oh, um, John Fitzke with the Lebanon County Planning Department and uh, Song Kim, Song with, Kim with the Lebanon County Planning Department. Uh, we're here to talk with you guys uh, in regards to the Inwood Bridge Replacement Project. As you know, the county has a, a steel truss bridge uh, north of Lickdale uh, that for many years has been on our improvement program, uh, county-owned structure that we are in the process of trying to replace. And as part of that, given that the structure is one of the two bridges in the state of this particular truss design, uh, we're obligated as part of our process with uh, federal and state process to preserve that bridge. Uh, and in doing so, um, and in, I, I say this with uh, much thanks to uh, Mr. Chuck Allwine and his wife Charlotte, uh, have given us two parcels, which I just found out this morning the deeds have been transferred, so I'll get those copies and take them down to PennDOT today. Um, but now we have a place to put that bridge, which now allows this project to, to move forward to where what we're asking uh, for your action today is a resolution I've, I've shared with Jamie to have his review. Um, to essentially request the county commissioners uh, to take action that they will agree to accept uh, perpetual ownership and maintenance responsibilities for the original Inwood Bridge on its new planned location, these two parcels that, that uh, Chuck has, has donated to the county. Uh, and in doing so, um, PennDOT is also asking for action that you will accept maintenance and ownership responsibilities for the new bridge, which PennDOT will do as part of this project. So one bridge will be taken away essentially, taken to a place, evaluated, rehabbed, and then it will be moved to that site uh, as it's, as it's uh, you know, rehabilitated. And the new bridge work can then begin uh, as a result of that structure being out of the way. And then this will bring us up to a bridge that will be all legal loads, uh, will be accessible during uh, flood events. Uh, I did bring pictures and drawings just in case anybody would have any idea what the configuration of the Inwood Bridge will look like. Um, the plan with PennDOT will be is, once I take all this stuff down to them, they will have um, display boards that they will ask to go out here, probably in the commissioner's office, and then out at Swatara and Union Township, so that people have questions, want to see what these plans are going to look like, they can ask that, and they will get whatever comments uh, they receive. But what we're here today primarily is for the action on the resolution um, to accept those. I would be honored <coughs> to make that motion. Be honored to entertain a vote to uh, start questions. Well, it, just quickly, the uh, location of the old bridge uh, is it still in the general? 800 feet about from the current location. Okay. The, um, John, what we have here is the essentially the structure will. If you're orienting yourself right there, this would be Old State Road, uh, Spar Creek. The bridge will be set almost perpendicular. It will be set perpendicular to Old State Road looking out over uh, Sutar Creek. The original location of the bridge is, is just beyond, in fact, DCNR's property abuts these two parcels that. Um, uh, we're receiving from, from Chuck and, and Charlotte. Um, but this works, and we, we've sorted out a couple locations, and the reason that this one was kind of like our third option was we had looked at incorporated onto phase uh, 10 of the rail trail, and that was further south, and what we ran into was some environmental issues uh, with being able to put it there that we would have had to have mitigated, which would have increased costs. This actually came up ne nearly by happenstance that Chuck had talked with Commissioner Litz and had expressed that he had these parcels and wanted to know if the uh, county would be interested. At the time, we didn't think that there was any value because it was on the other side of the, of the creek. Originally, we had figured that this would stay on that opposing side and be essentially perpendicular to its existing alignment, um, parallel to 72. Um, but as a result of that, um, you know, this, this came into play, that was discounted, and we, we looked at alternate sites, and this just, I have to say, just kind of came together, and I, I owe a lot of the credit to, you know, Charlotte and, and uh, Charles for making it possible, because, to be honest, if we didn't have that, I don't know where this would go, and it, in essence, the bridge can, the replacement cannot move forward until we show 
that you know we have um, both ownership and action yeah. by the commissioners on the old bridge, and, and hopefully over time it'll be something like a pocket park that won't be far from Swiss Star State Park. And as the trail moves its way up there, you know it'll be another feature. That, uh, okay. Time frame? Uh, right now, we presently have it. We have it slated. I think it's supposed to be 2021 is what they have it slated. I can get you an exact date, Commissioner, as to to start or finish. Uh, that would be that would be estimated start would be right now it's currently listed as February 06, 2020. Um, and, and those things could be subject to change depending upon you know uh, our funding and, and how how things move forward. So and then finish 2021. Yeah, yeah that's correct. It would probably be open um, for traffic in 2021. Okay. okay. So just, uh, I know the all ones want to keep it low key, but are we thinking about some way to recognize them for making this available? Online park. I, I wanted I wanted to have I actually asked Chuck if he could be here today and unfortunately he had um, a conflict with Governor Dick and, and certainly with his, his uh, wife's health condition, you know, she, she couldn't be here. But I think at some point we'd like to coordinate with him to have him in here, maybe some more formal recognition. Yeah. I, I do think that okay. This really does make the difference in this project, and for Jamie and others who have seen this project be there, and it has been kind of a tough nut, tough nut to crack. Um, this is a significant step forward that I think will pave the way for other projects. In the Any other questions? If not all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Post same sign. So moved. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Another chapter <laughs> in the book. <laughs>